Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video. We're going to look at the German seasonal model for today's uh, first video. So we're looking at uh, 500 millibar height anomalies and temperature and rainfall anomalies for the next three months, taking us from October uh, through to December, through to the last month of 2020. The year is really uh, coming down to the last quarter now. So I shall get on that for you very shortly. Just say that coming up later on, today we're going to have a 10 to 14 day video update, including all of regular features. We live streamed the 10 to 14 day video update last night uh, from 6 o'clock. So it's a cracking live stream. Check that out. If you wasn't able uh, to watch it live, check it out on uh, demand. And uh, yeah, I had a really good time. So uh, so thanks for everybody for last night's uh, live stream for making it uh, really, really good. Uh, right then, so uh, let's get on with the free monthly update from the uh, JMA. So uh, just to say that coming up on Saturday, we're going to have the first season one roundup for the winter of 2020. We're going to get all on Rage Wars together, or as many of them as we can. We're going to get them all together. And for the first time this season, on Saturday, we will show you uh, what all of those models are showing for this coming winter, what they're all forecasting for the coming winter. That's going to be 7 o'clock in the evening on Saturday, and it will be a premiere uh, as well. Be quite a shortage video. I rattle through those long range models very, very quickly. Um, so it's probably been over around 10, 15 minutes. I would have thought probably probably around 15 minutes. Um, but it'll be relatively short. As, as I say, it's going to be a premiere on Saturday evening at 7 o'clock. So if you're around 7 o'clock on Saturday evening, uh, there'll be a premiere. And then, of course, you'll be able to watch the video on demand as normal art bat. And it will go straight away onto the Winter Updates page as well at uh, galsworthies.com with a written uh, summary. So there'll be no messing about with that. It'll be on the Winter Updates page right away from just after the premiere uh, with a uh, written summary uh, going over everything that we discuss in uh, the video as well. So that's all coming up on Saturday. Quite exciting times. I'll tell you, the JMA won't form part of that actually this month. So uh, the JMA only goes to December, so it doesn't really go far enough into the winter to be included this month. The JMA will come on stream for the uh, for the winter updates uh, uh, for next for next month. But in any case, we always like to take the JMA out and sort of isolate out, look at it in its own terms, because you can get a lot of information from this model, and you haven't got time to go through all of that within a within a season model roundup. So uh, so that's what we're doing for this video then. So this is a 500 millibar height anomaly uh, for uh, this is going to be for October first of all month number one. So this is the closest month to where we are right now. In theory, this should be the most reliable part of the whole thing. So, remember with this, uh, we're looking from the North Pole view down to start off with. So, uh, like this is the North Pole just here. We've got the wider arc circle around there. And of course, got mid-latitudes around here. Blue is extrapolating to below. Average heights, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange and red to above. Average heights, which is high pressure. Uh, so you can see it in the 7 to 10 day, uh, what I'm talking about, you can see that in the month head time frame uh, for October, we've got an area of below average heights sitting to our north and northeast with above average heights pulled out into the middle of the North Atlantic. It looks like we're in sort of a west to northwesterly type flow here. Could be quite unsettled, actually. Uh, the area of above average heights is pulled quite a long way away from us. So I would have thought that could be quite cool and quite unsettled, actually. We could be pulling in regular sort of northwesterly to even northerly shots of air at times. So, so yeah, it could be quite unsettled and cool, but I wouldn't anticipate a washout of the month because we have got a relatively big area of high pressure in the Atlantic. But I think the jet stream and the flow is likely to be aligned sort of northwest to southeast. So it could be quite cool. It could be unsettled. And, you know, there could be showers and long spells rain at times. And we could get some quite chilly northwesterly to sometimes northerly flow. So quite a cool and unsettled month starts off in October. Uh, this is November's 500 millibar height anomaly. So in November, we've got the area of above average heights sent out to our west and southwest, extending into the UK, below average heights, low pressure, up towards Greenland and Iceland. Looks like we're reverting to more of a westerly flow here. Reverting to more of a westerly. So it should be uh, milder, milder potential in November than October. Probably a little bit drier as well. That ridge is actually building into southwest of the country. Of course, it will be unsettled at times, but I would have thought one of those sort of mild, dank, damp 
sort of Novembers probably uh, with that kind of Novembers we've had a lot of over recent years. So relatively mild, a lot of cloud, a lot of dampness uh, and winds generally from an Atlantic sort of westerly type source. Not particularly exciting if you want a cold month. And then that is uh, December. So this is month number three. It's a very long way out. So in December, we've got an area of above average heights again in the Atlantic, extending into the UK and into Western Europe as well. Low pressure is up to the north. No northern blocking here. Jet stream is pushed northwards. So we're on the mild side of a jet stream. Probably looking generally quite mild again and relatively dry again, I would have thought with that. Wind still coming in from a westerly direction. So, uh, so yeah, quite a mildish, dampish, cloudy, uh, sort of dank uh, type December being forecast there with winds continuing to be coming in from a westerly Atlantic source. Not particularly exciting if you want cold weather. So let's confirm this though with the uh, tropical and middle latitude view. So British Isles in the top right hand corner of the chart as you are looking at it uh, just here. So uh, this again is for October. Reminder of the 500 bill of our high dominant for October. Now we can't see Scandinavia and sort of Greenland and to our north. That's off the chart up here with, with this one. What we can say though is that we've got an area of above average heights, high pressure pulled out into the Atlantic. There is lower pressure up to our northeast. We're probably aligning the jet stream northwest to southeast. So it looks like it could be quite cool. Out of the three months, October looks like it could be one that's a little bit cooler and maybe a little bit more unsettled. It is actually going for below average temperatures in October. So this is indicative of the wind coming in from the northwest, northwest southeast alignment to the jet stream, and probably some cooler snaps from the north as well. So below average temperatures being forecast by the JMA in October. Not overly unsettled. Actually, it's relatively dry of an average for England and Wales. It is a little bit wet and average for Scotland. I think it could be a little bit more unsettled than that would suggest, though, uh, to be honest. Not a washout of a month by any means, but I think as these low pressures dig in from the northwest with the jet stream, I think that will bring the potential for some rain. And you would say probably for northern areas, even some wintry potential there. Uh, you can see from the uh, wind arrows, which has shown us the uh, mean wind direction, these are always a job to make out, but you can see with this that the, the black arrows are kind of like from a northwesterly to almost northerly type source, uh, almost northerly to northwesterly during uh, October, which is why the temperature anomaly is quite cool in October. Uh, November looks like it's reverting us back to the westerly flow uh, again. So again, we've got this above average heights area of above average heights, high pressure out in the Atlantic, but this time extending into the southwest of the UK, which I think would have the effect of pulling the wind back into the west. Winds go back into the west, but with the high pressure ridging in from the west, there should be a fair amount of dry weather. Uh, the rainfall anomaly for November is still a little bit wet average for Scotland, a little bit drier than average for England and for Wales too. Temperature anomalies are lifting up. So after that cold October, or cold and average October, uh, November goes slightly milder than average. If we look at the mean wind direction, uh, again, the black arrows, you can see that the wind has gone from like a north northwesterly to a straightforward flat westerly flow. And that's going to be reasonably mild in, uh, you know, that'll be reasonably mild in November. So coming around the ridge from right like, southwest and then into the UK, rather like that. It's bringing the air up from the middle of the Atlantic. And so that's the reason we are expecting, or we would be expecting if the, if the pattern came off, we would be expecting a mild and average November. And then finally for December, remember this is three months away, so it's a very long way out. If you would like a cold December, I wouldn't necessarily be too worried about this at the moment. It is a very long way away. But uh, for December, again, it'll be above average heights building in from the Atlantic into the UK. We're on the mild side of the jet stream. The jet stream is pushed northwards with low pressure up here towards Greenland and Iceland. So it looks like it should be a straightforward mild of an average month the temperature anomaly is uh, above average so a mild average month forecast there up to a degree 
uh, above average. Rainfall anomalies, uh, again, looking relatively dry. So, so this is quite a dry end to the year uh, with the JMA. So, a little bit above average of a far north Scotland, but generally overall, the high pressure from the Azores, a lot of uh, dry weather on offer there. Um, I mean, wind direction, again, with black arrows, we see they're coming from a sort of uh, westerly source into the UK. The high pressure is just there. The wind's coming around the high like that. So, so the air actually originates from like down here, the middle of the Atlantic, pulled around the high pressure into the UK. And that's why, again, we have another mild of an average month being forecast with winds from a west to south westerly direction. Uh, so, of course, with that in December, you're going to get a lot of clouds. You get a lot of dank, damp, uh, pretty grim type weather, really, um, with those west-south westerlies. The sun won't have the strength to burn away the cloud. So, so a very sort of uh, damp and cloudy, claggy sort of uh, mild month being forecast there. For December. Um, but it's three months away, so I won't worry about that. We do have a cool of an average month to start us off in October. October looks like it could be quite cool and also a little bit unsettled. Some northwesterly to at times northerly shots, and then we go into those mild anticyclonic conditions for uh, November and uh, for December as the Azores high builds up from the southwest and pretty much sits over the country. Uh, right then, so uh, that's the JMA for this month. But this is not going to be included in the season one roundup we're going to do on Saturday. Uh, reason being that we only get to December with this. So so we only have one month of the winter. So therefore, we can't really include the JMA in this month's uh, winter season one roundup. But it will be included in Come On Stream uh, from uh, next month. But we will get all of the other long range models together on Saturday and see what they're all showing for the winter of 2020 21 for the very first time uh, this season. And that video will be present premiered at 7 p.m. on Saturday evening. Uh, so if you're around the channel around that time, then uh, then yeah, you'll be able to see what season models are showing the first time this season, winter of 2020-2021, as a premiere. And that, of course, will be on uh, website gavswebbies.com as well. Okay, we're going to be back later on with your 10 to 14 day video update, including all of red features. So come back that then. Uh, for this video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.